Marksburg Castle on our Rhine getaway in April and these are our highlights of our trip. It's the first day of our Rhine getaway. We left Fort Lauderdale at about 11 o'clock. And then we were scheduled to arrive in Amsterdam at 9.20. We actually touched down at 8.20. And we were met right outside the luggage by our Vikings representative. And we got on the bus, made it to the Viking ship Edie, where we checked into room 212. So we're off to a good start. And what did I get today? That was the highlight of the day. Kim, who we got a special international package of data plan right off the plane. She gets, what was he called? Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime, a European only Pokemon. Hooray! The trip is complete. You see? That is known as the narrowest house of Amsterdam. Very interesting tour to start off our Ryan getaway. Good morning. It is Thursday, April the 5th. We are in Rotterdam early this morning. Our first excursion is at 7.45. After the long trip yesterday, it's a bit early, but we're going to a Dutch cheese farm and then we will continue on to Kinderdijk to see the UNESCO windmills. And then we will be cruising down the Rhine River all afternoon. We're looking forward to that. So Our second tour today, we are at Kinderdijk, a UNESCO site where the oldest windmill was constructed in the 1400s. What are we doing, honey? Just sailing down the river. Beautiful day. Good morning, Cologne. It's Friday, April the 6th. We've arrived in Cologne. And today, we have a walking tour of Cologne, and then this afternoon, we're going to the Brule Palaces. And for another, they were to scare off the demons. Today we're on the Rhine River Valley and we're 
atop Marksburg Castle. For some reason, three years ago, I did not do any videos here. So this time I remembered that this is the view, the picture of the trip. Just a wonderful day. Picture because I think this is such a beautiful background. I'm glad they took the picture with your family. Okay, we're standing here. And there is the first one. day sailing down the Rhine River with the castles all over the place. That is why we're on the Rhine getaway. A sensational day. It's Sunday morning and while it doesn't look a lot different, we've never been on this part of the Rhine. It's Sunday and we're at Heidelberg and Heidelberg University, one of the most prestigious, oldest schools in Europe. And we're doing a walking tour today. It should be very interesting. This is also done by water. People came from all over to see this. So it almost reaches that stage of Good morning. It's Monday. We're in Strasbourg, France, and today we're going to take a bus tour for about an hour, and then we are going on an hour and 15 minute walking tour through the small, quaint little French town, and then we will be back for lunch, and then the second half of the day we're doing a wine tasting in a winery here in France, so that should be really cool. In Europe, everywhere the Romans started something. The Romans were conquerors, huh? and so they wanted to conquer to conquer Gaul and Julius Caesar was the first, the first to pass here. This, this was in 58 BCE, so it was a long time ago. And this section is called Petite France. This is the Strasbourg Cathedral and inside is an astronomical clock with the glockenspiel, and it is accurate until the year 9,999. Wow.
Honey, how was the Pokemon hunting? I am now a proud owner of two new Voltress and Lunatone um, added to my Pokédex. Well done. to make wine, it's called the Grand Cru Kirchberg de Bar. Uh, in Alsace, we have 51 best places like this, very steep places, very sunny places, and with the greeting crew. Welcome us to Freestyle Germany today. So our ride will last about one and a half hours. Oh, still back there. Still back oh, look at all of them. Don't worry, I won't talk all the time, okay? We arrived at the Black Forest up on top of the mountain. One of the highlights would be Kim's going on a hike to the Black Forest and this guy getting my very own cuckoo clock. So we say goodbye to the Viking longship Beatty. Dracula too. The mountains now on the left side, a bit further, that is central Switzerland, that is the Lake Lucerne area. Order was given to do so, defend the castle. Another order which was given later that you can go, it makes no sense, the castle is lost, unfortunately never reached the Swiss Guard. So they followed their first given order and that's why the, above the lion you see the words that say something like the Swiss are very loyal and brave. Floated across Lake Lucerne, rode the Cogwell train up here to Mount Rigi. Some views just spectacular. This marks the end of our Rhine getaway. It's just been a spectacular trip. The castles on the Rhine and now the views from the top of Mount Rigi. Just an amazing adventure.